So our first award tonight will be for Veterinary of the Year, and I'd like to ask Dr. Virgil Heyer to please come up and introduce the winner. This will be for Veterinary of the Year, Dr. Heyer. Good evening. I didn't realize that's going to be so early in the program. Um, the description for the Veterinarian of the Year states that this award goes to an NVMA member who has contributed to the advancement of veterinary medicine in the state of Nebraska, service to the state association and profession, service to the community, and service to family. This year's recipient of this award has exceeded these requirements in every aspect of the description. This veterinarian and his wife, Joan, has successfully raised three children. He has promoted veterinary medicine in the community by spearheading Nebraska's first Oath and Action Day, sponsored by the American Veterinary Medical Foundation. He has served in the NVMA in multiple capacities, including service on the board of directors and is a past president. He has served on several committees, including the admissions committee, and still serves on the legislative and public relations committee. He was instrumental in the early development of the original MBMA website. He received his animal science BS degree in 1978, his DBM degree from ISU in 83, his MS degree in 89, and his PhD in 96. As a pathologist at the UNL Diagnostic Lab since 90, 1996, he has served as a class sponsor, student mentor, mentor, and has chaired the George Young Swine Conference. As practitioners within the state know, he also does veterinary diagnostics as time allows. He is most notably nationally and internationally recognized for his development of the immunohistochemical test for BBD PI infection, more commonly known as the ear nox diagnostic test. This has had a profound benefit on the control of BBD disease for bovine practitioners everywhere. As all who know him will attest, in addition to all of the above accomplishments, this veterinarian exemplifies the friendly, personable, devoted, professional image that we all aspire to achieve. Please help me graduate, congratulate this year's Veterinarian of the Year, Dr. Bruce Broderson.
Because of his dedication to veterinary medicine, he has devoted a lot of his time to the NDMA. He has served on the Continuing Education Committee for years. He has been the chairman for seven years. Every winter and summer convention, he is there working wherever he needs to be to make sure things run smooth. Plus, all the time he puts in before the convention, attending meetings and organizing speakers and whatever else. He is not afraid to step up to the plate when something needs to be done. When tricks started showing up in our state, he organized a trick task force to deal with it. He put together veterinary meetings and continuing education. Producer meetings were set up to educate the public. And as chairman of the trick task force, he was the driving force to deal with this disease, to get state regulations passed, and do what had to be done to slow down the spread of trick in the cattle industry. In 1984, Brent and his wife Carolyn started the team roping for the NDMA Fund Day. For 25 years, Brent and Carolyn run the NDMA roping. This is a major undertaking. Arena has to be located and rented, roping stock found and leased, help lined up to work all day, and sponsors contacted to donate prizes. He organized this year after year in whatever town we were having the summer meeting in. Carolyn was in charge of the secretarial duties the whole time. Now, 32 years later, we are still roping on MDMA funding. And I hate to say that dates some of us who were there at the first one. <laughs> <laughs> he is the reason District 7 is one of the most active districts in the NDMA. He has served as the district director for four years and held other offices within the district. He is well respected by his colleagues. He has been and continues to be a role model for our association. Like I said previously, I don't know of anyone else with the passion and dedication to veterinary medicine. He is my colleague, my roping partner, but most of all my friend. Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Brad Van Patten. Uh, he was an inside representative and um, 
uh, you really didn't take much notice of him at that time. Uh, eventually, after the <coughs> fall of uh, PVP, uh, this person started coming around the clinic a little bit more often. We got to see a face uh, with a voice that we had heard several times before. Uh, he did his job. He came around frequently. Uh, he featured the products and he also told us of all the specials that he had. When we first started noticing this guy, um, it was because we were having a lot of growth and uh, the company that he was with was a little bit nervous about us and he went to bed for us and he said that uh, we were a customer worth trying to work with uh, because we had a lot of potential. And that's when we first started noticing this guy and we really started a good relationship and started working together. And since then, we've worked together on many, many different projects. Uh, he gives us the best prices we can get he offers a lot of opportunities for education, not only for me, but for my staff. Uh, he's introduced several different products to us, and he's also uh, worked for us um, when some of those products don't work. Um, and he's helped us move a clinic, not once, but twice. That's a whole other story, but he was there. And he was lifting just as much as everybody was. And, um, um, I asked my employees, you know, what was one of the things that uh, they thought great about this guy? And they kept on saying, well, you know, they help uh, convince our boss to buy more equipment. Um, that one I think we have to work on. Um, but my advice uh, when it comes to this award is to truly notice how your reps treat your staff. Um, if they know all their names and they treat them with courtesy and respect, then they're a person like Brian Gottschalk of Animal Health, and they're a person that you should work with. And that's our award.